Could certain vaccines contribute to unrelated health issues? Here's what the research says. Due to the ongoing controversy with vaccines, it's imperative that we provide transparency, create and facilitate open discussions to make sure that optimal treatment is being provided to our patient population. I personally believe that everybody should get vaccinated unless you're one of these rare special cases, but it comes down to the patient and their decision, it's their body. Ultimately, it's on the patient, but we need to provide the most up-to-date, accurate, transparent data for these patients so they can make the best decision for them and their children. According to the Mayo Clinic, each year, the influenza vaccine reduces illness by 7.5 million cases, and it reduces the death rate by 6,300 per year. It's been seen that rare cases of myocarditis in young patients have been linked to the COVID-19 vaccine. Vaccines, like any medical intervention, can cause adverse reactions. And due to these adverse reactions is why I take my stance on not getting the COVID-19 vaccine unless you're elderly or you have multiple comorbidities or you're at high risk for COVID-19 related illness. Common vaccines such as your Tdap, influenza vaccine, and our MMR vaccines, I fully advocate for. These have saved millions of lives. They've had an adequate amount of time to go through the necessary approval processes that vaccines should go through. As opposed to COVID-19 vaccine, this was pushed through the gauntlet as quick as possible and thus resulting in these adverse effects. They've been pushed on kids, on healthy young adults. There just needs to be a lot more research and time put into this vaccine. I'm Dr. Clint, I'm a licensed physician. Follow me for more tips regarding health issues.